Hey, I'm Chris Berman, coming up on ESPN. Welcome one and all to NFL Kickoff Weekend 2004. Hope everybody had a great Labor Day weekend. I'm Chris Berman. Now we're ready for some football. We kick off our coverage of the NFL and ESPN with what ought to be a pretty good one. Rams, Packers. It well, the fans are looking for their seats as the teams are down on the field warming up. Hi, folks. I'm Dan Stevens. Welcome to historic Lambeau Field. And my sidekick, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, both of these teams have, uh, well, some very talented players holding down the safety positions. Wouldn't you agree? No question about it, Dan. Safeties are often literally the last line of defense. And these are reliable as they come. Adam Archuleta is an awesome player at the strong safety position. I tell you what, one of his biggest strengths is, well, he's strong. <laughs> he's great at shedding blocks and bringing down ball carriers. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer. Mike McKenzie is a superb player. His versatility is what strikes me. He understands the game of football and knows how to make the most of his physical abilities in every situation. Well, all right, Peter, we'll keep our eye on them as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. Susie, thank you. Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. As we can see here, we've got the injuries that have accrued over the season, and let me tell you, each one of these guys was hard to lose. Injuries are a fact of life in the NFL. You have to push on and field the best team possible. Yards to go. Henderson catches it in the flat and... is at the 20 and his blockers I think they check out the interception here on the replay Dan watch how he reacts to get in the ball's path nice that's how you make the in at the 42 come on Tim no more interceptions oh, 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 oh. went to town on that baby gets yards gets the first and and eventually gets out of bounds. That's the first time they tried to run it there, and the decision paid off pretty big. Yeah, when you've got ball carriers. He gets out of bounds at the 14. First down. Yeah. Out here, and by some miracle, gets a completion out of it. I don't know how that happened, Dan. Let's have another look. Grabs the bullet. Touchdown. Oh, yeah, and Mark it's good. It's down and heads up field. Long Green is built like a perfect back should be. Six feet, 217. This running back comes with all the fixings. He can deke out defenders, spin out tackles, and even run some over. Green takes it off the toss and runs into traffic. Breaks free. Dan, this is why I love this game so much. Just look at all this stuff going on down there. And hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball. Incomplete. Marshall Falk sticks close to his blockers here. And it pays off. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them in. Picked up about seven. And that will bring up second down. With the tackle. Marcelletta keeps his man from getting back to the line. Let's watch. Pow! Oh, that's got to hurt. That's his second tackle so far. Sues and makes the tackle back at the 37. Second and well, check out those interceptions from last year. What a ball hawk! Damian Lewis nails his man behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to cost the offense a few yards. Oh, yeah, that's a great job of getting to the quarterback. Nice sack. Another sack's him back the at the 34. And that brings up third down. Okay, so we're going to get it. We're going to go 
just like it is. We're going to execute, we're going to stay strong, and we're going to get to the spots we need. Okay, fellas? Nick Barnett goes in unblocked and nails him to the ground. The O-line should be in. The sack at the, sack. the, the 15. Sack. Fourth down coming up. Wow, those are nice stats. Way to carry the ball. And turn on the Jets. He's doing his part. The ball has come at the 26. Driver has it. He can find some room and turn on the Jets. He's doing his part. Couch really rifles this pass. First down. Players on the field. You got to guess a direction in that situation, and he guessed. Couch fires this one over the first down. Packers. Guest gets past first the markers down, for Packers. Javon Walker bases down, and and they will move the chain. Great execution, and he guessed. Walker makes the catch on the right sideline, and first down. Packers. Give up. Watch. Green takes it for his 11th carry touchdown, and Packers. gets the touchdown. Shadowing him, but still manages to make the catch. He beats his man cold. It's the ran. reception is made past the markers for a first down. Kevin Kirk Peter, and they will move first the chain. Defense. Great execution. Check. Mark Bulger made a nice throw there, got it right past the defender. Great pass, Peter, and he's having in the football, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Great play right here. Snags the football and then really turns on the juice. They take the lead on that touchdown, Peter. And it's in for the touchdown. Dane looks. And before he got very far. Searches for a hole. Tackled, and the clock will continue to run. Now we're in, Studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, Dave. Interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. A look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the difference in passing yards. The Rams should be way ahead on the scoreboard, but somehow they've let their opponent hang with them. Let's see if they can change things in the second half. We'll pick up the action midway through the first quarter. Travis Fisher shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Rams still midway through the first quarter. The ball at the 46-yard line. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall Falk. On the carry here as they work the ground game. This is a nice run. A 31-yard play that set up a Ram touchdown. The Packers trying to answer back. Packers down by seven. Amon Green found a little opening. That was all he needed. They tie it up, seven all. The Rams come right back. Dane Looker found a soft spot on the defense and it worked to his advantage. A 37-yard touchdown for the Rams. And that's where we'll leave this one. Packers are down, but still in it. 14 to seven. Today's halftime hero has turned in an incredible performance thus far. Mark Bolger has played like a man possessed. So that does it. Enzo. 
Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, there's the drive results, and the thing I want to talk about is how close this game is. When the score is like it is, one single mistake can change the whole game. They need to be careful here. Dynamite pass there with two defenders on the prowl. Really incredible accuracy, but I'll tell you, that's got a sting if you're middle and gets past the markers for a first down. Mark Bulger. And he stopped right there. That will bring up first down. First and 10. Ball at the 22 yard line. And the reception is made for a pickup of maybe a yard. Brandon Manamalayuna took on triple coverage and came away with a phenomenal catch. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. Down. Hey, way to go out there. Good job. Nice play. Nice play. At the three. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, the turnover column has the grim news, in my opinion. If you want to win, you have to hold on to the ball. And the ball searches carrier. for a hole. Number Stop at the six. The I'm on green. Use the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not green gets the toss, runs into traffic, crosses the field. Archuleta hunts him down and then finally tackles him just behind the line. Come on, Green finds the hole on this one and gains some good yardage. Wow, great blocking on that play. That was his second run. First and ten. Ball at the Rams, 19 yards. He gets there, but I don't know why he even bothered. Big gain, and they'll move the chains. Well, he eventually catches made well past the markers for a first down. Joey Thomas. First and ten. Ball at the Rams, 37. Picks up nine. Holding, number 28, defense. Nearly earned a flag on this one. He held his man a little too obviously here. Yep, defensive holding is the call, and I got to agree. To 14. So open on this play, it's ridiculous, Dan. Was the defense even on the field? <laughs> Let's take a look. Well, they were all right, but they just weren't paying. For the middle, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Brandon Monich here with three defenders on his tail. I'll tell you, I was not expecting that pass at all. I wonder. And they get the first on third and long. Marshall Falk. Well, this is a nice run, Dan. Gets all the yards he needs. Not a huge quantity of yardage. The call again and searches for a hole. And he's in for the touchdown. Two yards and two touchdowns. It's good. All right, man. Okay, let's do this. Third down is an easier third down. Instead, they will stay put and have to take another That's shot. Incomplete. This one will Come fall on incomplete. Oh, It'll be... Buchanan oh. intercepts the ball close to the end zone, so you know he's going for it. And he gets it. What a huge play for the defense as they put points. He's in for the touchdown. I'm coming out. Coming oh, out. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Let this one slip by. He had his man covered to the T. That's great coverage. Let's check it out. Click on the receiver and separates him from the, the ball. Receiver. Incomplete. Out of 13. Lock him down. Lock Third and down. one. Ball at the 13. He's in the twilight zone, Dan. There was absolutely no one there to cover him. Sideline and he's in for the score. Touchdown, Packers. Go! 
goal. It's good. Just some really good blocking there. They opened up a hole. And he's able to cross the line and get a bunch more without uh, really much resistance. And that's what the old... Picks up 11 on the play, and that brings up first down. First down, Rams. Come on. Oh, I can't <laughs> Paul takes it for his 11th carry, and it takes it upfield. Tackle, Dan. The Packers take... The this is a nice run here, and when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great down carry on third down, oh, and oh, gets yeah. in for the score. Oh, 52 to 21. Oh, for my partner, oh, Peter O'Keefe, oh, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. Hey, What's up, yeah. man? Hey, Doing well, man. Good to see you, man. Cool, cool. All right. Okay, Dan, thank you very much. And let's welcome all of you back to the studio. I'm Chris Berman here to bring you our ESPN Video Games post-game wrap-up. The Rams stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall Falk got the carry here, and he was able to break through. A three-yard touchdown for the Rams. The Rams now up by 14. The Packers answer right back. Amon Green bounces this one to the outside and is going to get some room to maneuver out there. A 63-yard touchdown for the Packers. The Rams answering right back. Rams winning by seven. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall Falk got the carry here and he comes through. They're now up by 14. The Packers on defense, Buchanan, would come up with a huge play here as he was able to pick one off here, then had some clear sailing in front of him. Touchdown for the Rams. Packers trailing 35 to 14. Donald Duke in the driver was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 56 yard play that set up a Packer touchdown. The Packers close the gap some, they're down by 14. The Rams trying to answer back. The Rams with the ball at the 34-yard line. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall Falk is going to get the carry here as they grind it out on the ground. He makes the most of this one. A 25-yard play that set up a Ram touchdown. Packers back by 21. Sean Moran is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Rams serve up a blowout, 42 to 21. Now let's catch up with the player who really ignited his team's offense with his death passing and has earned our Player of the Game award. Mark Bolger is down on the field with Susie Colbert. Suze? Thanks, Chris. You helped carry your team today, and your team bulldozed to a runaway victory. What do you think was vital to your team's success today? Man, our defense played great. They were getting after the ball, hustling, making hits all game long. Man, it got me fired up watching them play. It was a nice effort all around, though. Back to you, Chris. With that, thanks for...